Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the Gridify UV script. Gridify UVs now support square or rectangular shapes, and it also rotates the UV shells correctly, so let's check it out. So first, Gridify UVs is a tool I developed which takes a selection of faces and converts that selection of faces into a grid of UVs. So if I select some faces here, even though that these aren't square shapes, and this is a really kind of a funky object or whatever, and you click the grid UV button, you will get a perfect grid of UVs in one click mapped into the zero to one texture space. And that can be handy for a lot of things, either starting your UV unwrap or actually just using these UVs the way they are. It kind of depends on how you like to do your UV layout. If your object is cylindrical shaped and it doesn't have a natural UV border edge to grab the grid off of or whatever, you can go into multi-component selection mode and you can select a border edge plus the faces that you want to gridify. In this case, I'm going to select all the faces and I'm going to use this as the cutting edge. I'm just going to double click here and click gridify UV and boom, you get the border edge where you selected the edges and then the rest of it is put into a perfect grid. This method of UV mapping can be especially helpful for wacky shapes like this and other kind of weird geometry shapes. So right click, go to multi, Double click the edges, hold shift, double click the faces. That's a quick way to just grab the edge that you want plus all the faces of the object. And to tell if you've got the right selection happening before you run the script, you can see that we've got some edges selected here in the heads up display and we've got some faces selected. So click the button and boom, there we go. We've got a perfect grid of UVs in one click in about two seconds. So that can speed up your UV mapping process quite a bit. And if you want, you can always gridify and tear out a little section of this same object after it's mapped. So if we go to face here and I just want to select these faces, because I have these faces selected and there's a natural border edge around those faces, meaning that they don't wrap back onto themselves and have the adjacent face selected on the backside, we don't need to select an edge at all. We can just go face mode, click the button, boom, and you're ready to go. There's your UVs there. Okay, so moving right along to the updates that I've made to the tool. So basically, I'm just going to select some faces here, grab a section that we're going to gridify, let's say that stuff there. And in the old tool, if you click the button, it would gridify it, which is awesome. If we look at the result, sometimes the UVs would be pointing the wrong direction. So you can see the words here actually spaced vertical, and we want them kind of rotated to the right. So the cool thing about the new script is if you click the button and you get the wrong rotation, all you have to do, I'm just going to undo here. All you have to do is click the button a second time and it will try to figure out the best rotation. So click the button once and I got those UVs and I just click it a second time and then boom, see now it's rotated the right way. So we'll just do another quick one here. That one's actually faced the wrong way. So I'll try that out. So we'll do these guys here. We're going to click it and we see that we got the wrong rotation so i don't need to do anything you just click a second time and if each time you click it it toggles it between the two values that it can do so there we go that guy's done whoops that guy's done there and uh, everything's good to go along with that feature it was also requested that there could be one that would work on rectangular shapes because if you've noticed here the sphere is squished and so that these aren't squares, but when you gridify it, it just puts it into a grid. And so then these are actually rectangles. You'd want them to be squares. You'd have to go in here and you'd have to like do some processing, unfold those vertical, straighten UVs, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just going to grab those there and just get that selection again. And if you use this button here, the grid rectangular UVs, it's going to cost a little bit more because it's going to run some extra process in the back, but it's going to try to squish the UVs correctly so we don't get rectangles here. We get squares instead. So let's just try it out. And boom. Okay, so it came up sideways. So you just click again. Boom. And then let's have a look. So now we've got perfectly... Uh, ratio, you know, two by one or whatever the ratio is going to be. We've got the rectangular shape. It's still a grid. Here, I'm just going to grab it over here and pull it out so we can have a look at it. So it's still gridified perfectly. Everything's still right angled, but the uh, relative offset of each square isn't a grid anymore. It's a grid with the squishing of the 3D space, if that makes sense. So we'll just do a couple more here. So let's just grab like, I don't know, like say this strip. Click the rectangular one, boom, got it. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Just click again, got it. 
pull that over here so we can have a look. So you can see here again, it's not perfect squares. It's actually what you want. It's the correct aspect ratio. So see here, we've got the squares in the UV editor on uh, 3D and in 2D, we've got the rectangles as desired. So let's just grab one more, this guy, all this stuff down to here. Last one and rectangle and click one more time. And there you go. Perfect grid with the correct aspect ratio. So pretty cool. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the UV pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the UV pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel wouldn't exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a magnificent day.